guys, it's Matt here, Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. I'm getting ready to head down to the Deer Woods again. It is September 17th, which would be day three um, archery season here in Missouri. 2020 season. My 2020 hunting season started out like my 2020 did. Uh, been both evenings. 15th and 16th, 15th, went in on a spot where we uh, knew there was a big buck that survived last year, uh, saw no sign at all, uh, pulled out uh, last night, was looking at the Onyx maps and uh, picked out another spot. I want to explain what we do here. So with me, Alan, and Justin, we, uh, we run public land only. So we're about 30 minutes away from Mark Twain National Forest, and there's like millions of acres of public land that you can go hunt. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find spots that are either, maybe they're so small that nobody would ever think to go in there and hunt them, or uh, maybe they're landlocked by private land, so you've got to get creative on how you can get to them. Um, or big spots that are just so big and you gotta go so deep in there that nobody ever has the, the energy to try. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm not, I'm definitely not hunting like I have a stand set up and I just continually, you know, every night, every morning go to that stand and sit in that one stand. Um, it's not that at all. I'm moving a lot right now. Um, you know, I want to get into a place and I want to walk a circle and I want to look for sign. I'm looking for rub lines, I'm looking for uh, some kind of buck trail, maybe, you know, bedding, heading into food, which right now I think they're on acres like crazy because they're dropping all over the place. Last night squirrels were chucking acorns out of trees like they were grenades. So, um, I've not really been real serious about hunting the last three nights. Um, I'm just more getting in there and looking for the sign, you know, trying to find the spot. There's no, I don't think there's any sense in wasting time sitting in the woods if you're not on some kind of sign that the deer are there. Uh, otherwise, you're just sitting in the woods, which is fine too, but if you're wanting to get a kill, you got to have the sign. So, I'm heading back out uh, to the spot I was last night. I got a, I seen a, a couple of rubs, started to build a rev line, it got dark on me. Um, but I'm gonna start out tonight by just walking a huge circle around this place and, and doing it pretty quickly, just looking for sign. If I can't find any good sign, I'll go back and finish the, you know, right before dark time on that rev line. Uh, but I'm really curious as to what's deeper into this place. So the cool thing about hunting this time of year, you know, right off the bat, season's just opened, it's September, middle of September. The best part about this is you can hunt almost every single evening because it's just enough time to get off work, jump in the truck, run down here just 30 minutes out of town, get off in the timber, and uh, have a couple two and a half hour hunt. Um, it won't be very long and you won't be able to do that anymore because it's going to be dark about the time you get off work. So I'm trying to take advantage of this early season stuff while I can because I know that there's going to be a period of time in the very near future where I'm only going to be able to hunt on the weekends because, believe it or not, we don't do this for a living. We do this for fun. season you gotta have a stick the stick is for the spider webs because they're in between every single tree everywhere you go well this looks pretty good kind 
digging this. transition behind me the woods are open in front of me it gets real thick so I'm on the line where those two meet but this is why old rub old rub old rub
Dark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. animal in the woods. Dude. 